Hi everyone, this is Yom from Civil Center. Welcome to our channel. As we know, Civil Center is continuously working with the vision to guide civil engineering student and professional. And for that, we keep making videos on different topics and on different software related to civil engineering field. So we have started this series where we are providing you the information about the BIM software. So in the last session, I have already explained what is a BIM that is building information modeling. And now we are going to talk about one of the BIM software that is Tecla Structures. Okay, so I have already made a lot of videos on Tecla Structures in which I have completed the RCC detailing and still detailing is already going on on our YouTube channel. So if you want to learn the detailing, then you can just go ahead and visit them. But the now question is, whether the Tecla structure is just for detailing or it has some other usage also. So today's session will be dedicated to the scopes of Tecla structures. So we are going to discuss what is Tecla structure and what are the different things that it can do. So being a, being a BIM software, it is having a larger scope. And now let's go to the website of the Trimble and see what is Tecla structures. And guys, if you are finding this video useful, then go ahead, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues. And if you want me to make a video on any particular topic, then you can simply leave your comment in the comment section and subscribe to our channel. Now, you can see this is the website of the Trimble, which is the owner of Tecla Structures and all the Tecla products that you can see over here. Now, we will just go to the section of the Tecla Structures. So powerful structural BIM software for better projects. That is what Trimble says about Tecla Structures. Now, Tecla Structures, the most advanced structural BIM software, lets you create, combine, manage, and share multi-material 3D models packed with valuable construction information. You can use Tecla structures throughout the project from the infrastructure conceptual planning to fabrication, construction and maintenance for design, detailing and information management. Now let's understand this. What does it mean? It means that in the Tecla structures, you are not just creating any model. You are not just combining it with other models but you are also managing the whole thing and you can also just share this multi-material 3D model. Now we have to understand all these points. So basically, if you are following our YouTube channel, then you must be knowing that we can create a 3D model in Tecla structures. And what after that, we can see the arrangement of the rebars in a particular model and we can do the detailing in that. That means uh, why is Tecla structure needed this is? So see, even before the Tecla structures, we were doing the detail, but that was a 2D detailing. That means on a plain paper, we were drawing what is the arrangement of the bars, what is the lap length, what is the cut length, everything was being drawn manually or any any drafting software like the AutoCAD or WCAD. Okay, so these were the uh, processes that we were following. But with the like uh, coming of uh, BIM software, so we can now do the 3D detailing. Now, what it allows you to do, you can create a 3D model. Now, creating a 3D model for interior and exterior designing, that is a different thing. Okay, so that uh, like if you are using the SketchUp, if you are using Revit and uh, other software, then you can do the 3D modeling in that. You can add the beauty to the home. But here in Tecla Structure, we are not going to do that. Here we are doing the 3D detail. That means you have to create a model and you have to visualize the arrangement of the bars in that. Okay. So here is the thing. You have created a 3D model. Now you are placing the bars in that. So this is basically the work of the detailer. Now to understand the work of the detailer, we will have to start it from a little back. Suppose you have a client now that client will have a plot 
and that with that plot area and his requirements will go to the architect who will uh, like do the 2d planning and also the 3d model now these two things will go directly to the instruction designer and they will design the whole building that means they have provided the cross sections area of the steel and what should be the bars and what are the different bars that should be provided in the particular beam columns or footing or anything now after that the work of the detailer starts that means he is exactly defining what should be the cut length what should be the lapping length how if you are working on the steel projects then what should be the uh, like the thickness of the cassette plate what kind of wood should be like used over there so all these things are um, the work of a detailer so if you are like uh, working as a detailer then you must be knowing all these things and you need to like uh, clarify all the theoretical concepts also now what the software does over here so if you are good with the theoretical portion then you will clearly understand how to position everything and see learning technical structure is not a, a great deal because if your theoretical concepts are good 15 days are enough to learn the technical structures but if your theoretical concepts are not good then it will take a lot of time for you to understand it things uh, like uh, suppose at least uh, one month to two months that will be uh, like uh, needed if you are willing to learn the software now in the detailing portion you can see the perfect arrangement of the bars okay like uh, you will clearly see that this bar is lapping with this length now what is this length okay so that is 50d okay in that case we will have to just calculate the length and provide it on the side but the software will automatically calculate that length okay like your yeah, the software already knows what is the length of uh, the particular beam and now how much it should be needed to like if it is 50 by d then what should be that lapping length that particular uh, like length will be given by the software okay so these are the benefits of the technical structures that you can clearly use and uh, that will save a lot of your money on the site okay now we have understand what is 3d detailing that means what is modeling in this software now what other things it can do it can like combine other models also like if you are working on some other software like the uh tecla structural designer that is a designing software so you can import that model from tecla structural designer to tecla structures and you can start working on the detailing process so in this way you will not have to model each and everything and you can save a lot of your time okay next thing that you have over here is create, combine, and then like uh, uh, model everything. And then you have, have to modify it. Like you can also make the changes in that. And then you can also share this uh, 3D multi-material model. Now, when it comes to the multi-material model, that means that suppose you are working on any project which involves concrete, steel, timber. So all these things are being involved in this project. So you can clearly define each and every property of all these materials and you can just uh, like uh, create the detailed drawing according to that. Now, what is the next use of Tecla structures? So next thing that we can do over here, let's go to the site of the trimmer and see. So with Tecla structures, you can create accurate information with 3D models. So I've already told you about the information which 3D model, that means you can just use any kind of material and you can get the details of those materials with their properties. Okay, that have all the structural data you need to build and maintain any type of a structure. Tecla models can deliver LOD. LOD means the level of development LOD 500, the highest level of development uh, possible, making them truly constructible. That means if you are working on any project, then you have to uh, like go for the level of developments that in what stage is this project. So uh, that is known as level of development and this software can also be used to like manage the projects. Nine. Now the thing is high LOD as built models minimize costly surprises, RFIs request for information and result for more profitable projects. 
So you can just use this information that is being provided by the softwares. And if it is like managing your project, then you can use all the results to like make the project profitable. You can also import, export, and link your data with other software solutions, digital construction tool, and fabrication messages for a smoother workflow. Now, I've already told you that uh, you can just import and export and link your data. Like I have uh, given you an example of for Tecla Structural Designer from where you can just import the whole model. Same thing you can do with Revit. You can just uh, like make a 3D model in Revit and you can just import the data from here, from there to Tecla Structures. Next thing is you can also like integrate this uh, with the digital construction tools and the fabrication machineries. So fabrication machineries are basically the machineries that are working for the like uh, modeling, you can say, for of steel uh, structures, or you can say the um, steel models like uh, the nuts, bolts. So you can just feed the data in that machinery and it can just start to fabricating all these things in that particular dimension. Okay, so what's more, the as the built, the as built models cut back in costly supply and request for the information, making them projects more profitable. Same sentence over there. The particular structure is localized to fit our, your local construction industry standards. Now it is very customized software, so it can fit in your local industries also. The software is available in 17 different languages and has 32 environments that include predefined region specific settings for the uh, settings and information to make sure you off to a smooth start we offer local support and training too. So if you are using the required structures and if you have purchased their license to us and then they will also offer trainings and they can also offer you support over there. Now the best thing is that it is available in 32 different environments so it can be suited in any country whether you are from India, America or Pakistan or even from the Indonesia or even from the like um, countries like Somalia. So all these are having the different types of environments and it is uh, best fitted for all the environments. Okay, now, uh, next thing is, what is this ideal for? So this software is being used by the steel detailers and the fabricators. So you can see over here, the fabricators are molding each and everything in the, in the factory itself according to the dimensions. So you can use the software to feed the data in their machineries and they will do the needed. Okay, the steel detailers can also use this because uh, this is not just being used by the RCC detailers, even the steel detailers can use this software. As I said, that uh, the cassette plates and the thickness of the bolts and the types of the bolts that has to be used. I just mentioned all these things. Now this can also be used by the bridge engineers. So that's another scope of Tecla structures. The concrete contractors can also use it. And if you want to know more about it, then we have already a lot of videos on Tecla structures on RCC detailing. So how these concrete contractors are using it, you can just uh, have an idea from there because uh, the way we are doing the detailing, they will just uh, visualize the details and they can just uh, know that, okay, they add this poor particular portion, this much of the lap length, cutting length and everything is being provided over here. Now the structural engineers are using it to generate the detailed drawing, then the precast detailers and the producers. So the Tecla structures is basically like open for three different types of the construction. One is the steel, second is the RCC, then third is the precast. So even in the precast, uh, you can just get the details of it. And if you are not knowing about what is precast, then you can just leave the comment section. Uh, leave your comment in the comment section and I will let you know about the precast. Now for the rebar detailing, you can see how smoothly it is just checking uh, the rebar's arrangement in any construction site. Now it is being used by the students for their works and also by the educational institutions. Okay, so they are also using it to train their students so this was about what is 
like declare structures and what it can do. Now the question is, if you are learning any software or you are getting any kind of training, then uh, how it is going to benefit your career. So if you are willing to start as a freelance, then that's a well and good. But if not, then you can just go for the uh, like jobs of the detailers. So you can see uh, we have a lot of jobs of the Tecla model or Tecla detailers, or you can see in in like common you will also find the uh, like the a structural detailer. So these are the jobs that you can also find on LinkedIn or any other job hunting website. And you will find that, okay, a lot of jobs are there and their salary package is also good. So you can just go ahead, start running the software and get a decent job. And if you want any more information about the class structures, then just you can simply comment in the comment section and I will definitely make a video on that. And if you have liked this video, hit the like button, share it with your friends and colleagues and subscribe to our channel. And if you want to start your career as a building consultant, then go ahead, check out our free webinar. And over there, you can just uh, learn how you can become a building consultant and you can also book a free strategy call with us so that we can guide you with your business. Thank you.